I just have not been connected with God the way I feel like I was, which um, is not a great feeling. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just thought I would pop in. First of all, yes, I had the baby. I gave birth. I am no longer pregnante, okay? The baby is out. However, it's just been a lot going on and like the longer it takes for me to not even pick up the camera because I feel like I've low-key tried to film like eight videos at this point, like. But the longer it takes me to post, like the more stressful this is gonna be for me. Instead of trying to do like the vlog, the birth story, the long extra too much going on videos, like I just want to pop in for a quick second and say hi. I'm good, but it's a lot going on right now. I don't even like know where to start. I don't even know like where to begin. I have tried to film like a few videos. I'm trying to make sure my hair doesn't look crazy. I did this like kind of flippy outy thing today I straightened my hair yesterday and I like it was kind of already flipped a little bit I was like let me just go to the extreme so that's what I did and I think it looks kind of cute I don't know it's just been hard for me to piece videos together I feel like I'm whispering now because my daughter's room is like right there it's been difficult for me to put videos together lately for a number of reasons I almost didn't pick up the camera today just now because I just had to snap on my daughter like I had to snap on her like it's been a lot of snapping lately the gentle parenting thing is not for the faint of heart and it worked you know for the first couple years but I've been having to snap like I hate to say it but I've been having to snap I just had to confiscate you know a toy and stories in quiet time and she's upset with me and she keeps opening the door and listening to me so anyways I feel weird picking up the camera when I have to snap like that because I'm not in a good mood when I do that I don't like doing that but it's like bro like if I move like that I'm not gonna never pick up the camera like <laughs> so I'm just trying to like calm myself down it just has been a lot going on postpartum has been good it definitely is hard like it's a lot after you give birth it's just like the craziest time because there's so much like there's so much going on and there's so much changing like in every possible way possible and it's just like stressful like to talk about i don't know if i'm the only one like multiple people will ask me how i am right like over text or like in person and it's like bro there's literally so much that that could mean there's so many different things i could say my doula asks how i am i tell her how I'm like feeling or like how I'm physically doing but if like one of my pregnant friends asked me how I am then I'm talking about like the kids like how is it with the kids like I don't know it's just a weird like it's just such a weird time and it's like so hard to like find your footing I feel like and even just like getting on here and talking about it like it's literally so like overwhelming i don't know how women like just be getting back on here like getting back on social media like it's just so overwhelming honestly like i'm good though like my mental health i feel like is good like i don't have postpartum depression like yes there are hard days and like there are hard times but like i feel like i'm good though but even though i'm good like it's still like so overwhelming because there's so much going on and like so much to talk about so anyways i did make the decision to not post my kids anymore i don't want to share my kids i don't want to post their like faces i'm gonna try to post them as little as possible just because i've kind of gone down this rabbit hole of like children safety on the internet which is like really scary and like unfortunate but it's true so going forward i will not be posting my kids in their faces which is so extremely unfortunate for you because my son my son bro is a little cute angel baby from heaven like i don't understand how my son looks the way he looks he don't look like he came out of me <laughs> like he's so beautiful he has the most beautiful eyes he has the most beautiful everything and i'm obsessed with him so i am so sorry that you're not gonna be able to see him i don't know if you'll ever see his face like <laughs> I'm sorry. I did film a whole, it wasn't a daily vlog. It was like a week in my, it wasn't even a week. It was like a few days. It was like a vlog over the course of a few days. I fully edited the vlog, but like the baby is nursing like so much. And so he's on me so much that like, I think one or two times the when I picked up the camera to like talk to y'all, I had the baby and he's just like here and his whole face like, and I'm just, I edited the whole video and I'm just like, 
oh! And there was a, another clip in that video of me showing my haircut because I got a diva cut and my hair, <sighs> this is what it looks like straight, right? And y'all know I wear my hair curly. My hair curly is like really short now. It's like a curly bob. So I was talking about that in the video. Story was in fully in the whole video of that whole clip. And like, it's cute. Like I love being around my kids, but I don't want to post them. I don't want to post them. It makes me feel weird now. And I don't want to be one of those like super uptight, like, you know, yeah, I'm not posting my kids, but it's just like, I'm never gonna regret not posting my kids, but I could regret posting my kids, if that makes sense. I am with my kids, like it feels like 24 seven, like it feels like they're constantly around me. So it definitely is gonna be an adjustment and like a little bit difficult to film without them or to just like, not necessarily film without them, but film without getting their faces like front and center. Cause I'll still have to film with them obviously, or else this would be impossible. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. So I'm gonna try and edit that vlog to see if I can cut the kids out of it or like edit them out, cover their faces somehow. But she's coming back to the door. I'm trying not to talk while she's at the door cause she's gonna just sit there and listen to me. I'm going to try and edit that vlog and like make it so the kids aren't in the vlog but if that's not possible then i'm just gonna have to trash the video which is unfortunate i hate recording videos and not posting them i try to film a day in my life also like a day in my life with a newborn and toddler but it's just like how does one do that without filming their kids like i tried i've tried to look at videos and like see how people i don't know it's just new territory for me and this is just it's gonna to be a bit of an adjustment. Another thing, I have been 110% struggling to spend time with God. When I was pregnant, I was able to get up in the mornings and literally have like an hour and a half, two hours to myself, sometimes three hours to just like be in my Bible, like make my coffee, like clean up a little, tidy up a little, shower, like makeup if I wanted to. Like I was able to have like me time in the morning and like my time with God was priority. And that's just not, <laughs> it's just not been the case lately. I've definitely been struggling to just like have my quiet time I just have not been like connected with God the way I feel like I was, which um, is not a great feeling. My doula said that she kind of experienced something similar in her postpartum period where it's like you feel like you can't hear from God and it's not fun. <laughs> like. It's not fun feeling like disconnected, feeling like it's hard to like find time to like be rooted. And that's not to say that that's not fully true because I talk to God like throughout the day. Like I talk to him all day. I talk to him every day and I pray every day pretty much, I think. But the set aside time to like get in your Bible and like get in your word and like read your devotional, like that 30 minutes to an hour that I was doing before, it's just like not there, bro. And it like, I don't know if it's like a guilt thing or if it's like, if it's like actually important. I don't know if I'm like saying what I'm supposed to be saying, but I just miss the quality time with God. And it's just been like, I don't know. It's just been weird. I definitely have, this is something that like being afraid to pick up the camera and like post a video is something that the enemy has attacked me with for so many years and like I don't want this to I don't want this to continue like I don't want the enemy to win and like I don't want to quit YouTube like I don't want to stop making videos because like it's hard like no bro like that's what was like that's what I was doing and that's what I was letting the enemy convince me of is that it's too hard it's not for me you can't do this da 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 blah 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 yes it is hard Yes, I am tired. No, this does not look like how I imagined it to look like, but I feel like I started this channel again for the umpteenth time last year to take you along my life, but I feel like it turned into like taking you along my journey with Christ. So I feel like it's important for me to tell you that I have felt like disconnected and like not grounded and that's okay. Like, it's okay to feel that way. That's just where I'm at right now. Now that I'm looking at myself in the camera, I feel like it's kind of giving Lord Farquaad, like, just a little bit. The flip out is definitely, it's definitely giving the bad guy from Shrek, but that's okay. She's at the door again. 
She keeps coming and trying to get my attention. She got in trouble earlier because she kept slamming the door. And I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna take the door off the hinges or if I'm gonna put a lock. <laughs> like, I, for, I think it's called a hook and eye, hook eye lock or something like that. We have one on her closet to keep her from going in there, but it's like a circle thing and then the hook latches in it. It's like a latch sort of lock. Yeah, cause that slam in the door is like, has got to go. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna put a lock on her door where I can like lock her in. I know that sounds crazy, but like, it would be temporary, like just to kind of teach her a lesson. Or if I wanna remove the door completely, which would be inconvenient for me also. So I just, I don't know. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't know what else to do. Like, how do I get my child to stop slamming the door? I've heard of people t flipping the locks, like the door handles, like they'll put the lock on the outside, like I guess for safety so they can't lock you out or something like that. But something is wrong with her door and the way it lines up with the frame to where she can't even lock it from the inside. Like it doesn't line up. I don't know, like I can push her door open. Like the handle is not really doing anything. I don't know if that makes sense. But that slamming the door stuff is wild. When I tell you this little girl has been on 10 million screaming at the top of her lungs. I was talking to Aisha the other day about like terrible twos, bruh. What are terrible twos? Like what about terrible threes and terrible fours? Like because apparently those are, even crazier. Thank you all for watching this video and checking in on me. I am good. I apologize it's taking me so long, but I just have been in my little newborn bubble, <laughs> but it's been almost three months. Um, things are, you know, still a little bit shaky over here, still a little unstable, but we're working on it. When I was pregnant, one of the things that I continued to pray is that I wouldn't lose myself postpartum because I feel like that is so common and like so easy for the enemy to attack you in when you're in such a vulnerable like state, like it really is crazy postpartum. Internally and like externally is insane. So I just, all throughout my pregnancy and postpartum, I just have continued to pray for God to not let me lose myself, lose who I am, lose my um, mission and like what he's called me to do. Like I don't want to lose sight of that. Thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> this is definitely something I'm going to continue to do, continue to share. Um, it might look a little bit different now that I have decided not to show the kids but nevertheless I'm still here and I am still rocking with you guys and thank you for rocking with me yeah hopefully soon I really 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 want to share my birth story because honestly that was like the best day of my life my birth was like the most beautiful perfect natural thing I could have ever imagined like it was insane so I would love to share that with you all. I have the whole outline done. I just need to find time to like sit down like without the kids and share. So <laughs> just please be patient with me. Hopefully I will have some more content for you all very soon. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my child, children. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go get the kids and we're gonna go have dinner and yeah. So thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.